Hey guys, Brendan Bailey here. Uh, I've been wanting to shoot this video for a long time now, and basically what I want to do is give you a tour of my cubicle here. Now, I've got a lot of toys and a lot of silly nonsense on the walls here that I've been wanting to show off, and uh, the reason I'm finally shooting this video is because, well, I think it might be time to take the cubicle down. We've been thinking about getting some new uh, office furniture in here, so it's very likely that... Uh, my cube here might be getting dismantled, and that's not to say I'm not going to have some toys on my new desk, but probably not to the extent that I have on, on this one. But uh, needless to say, I've been wanting to shoot this for a while, so uh, let me show off some of the stuff that's that I've got uh, set up here. And let's start with, without question, what gets the most attention whenever clients or friends walk in, and that's definitely the uh, miniature Coleco arcade games. I bought these as a Christmas present for myself back when I started working here at Generations Beyond, and I think, I guess that was Christmas of 2010, so I've had these for a few years, and uh, I'm probably never ever going to get rid of, the, rid of them, I mean, they are a, a prized possession, this is the entire collection that Coleco put out, Nintendo put out a few, Parker Brothers put out a few of these, but this is every one that Coleco ever put out, and they're all in great condition, they all work, um... Can't say that I play them as much as I used to, but when I first got them, they definitely got some use. And, uh, again, whenever somebody walks in here and sees the cube, I mean, this is the first thing that gets pointed out. I mean, but lots of people remember even either having these, or they just think they're cool, or they want one. And, you know, so they're, they're cool collectibles, and, you know, the fact that I have the whole set here, I'll probably keep those. Those are probably going to be a lifer. I'll keep those forever. Um... One of the really cool things I did shortly after setting up all the toys was taking some of these old arcade marquees from some of my favorite games and uh, figured out a way to use a Quake Putty or Mighty Putty to hold them up without really being too much of a distraction and still kind of maintain the windows to the other cubes here. So uh, nothing too crazy here. Your classic games, Miss Pac-Man, Galaxy, and Pac-Man, Joust. This is an interesting uh, marquee. This is a game called Magmax, which I absolutely loved on the NES. And um, I don't think I've ever seen another one of these marquees come up. The arcade parts for Magmax are very hard to find, but I love that game. Arkanoid, of course. There's a few more over here. I've got Defender, Robotron, Gyrus, and Berserk. And uh, there's a couple other marquees up in the room. We're doing some renovating, so uh, it's a little messy right now, but... Uh, these are some Burger King toys from when I was a kid, some uh, Sonic toys, we got Roger Rabbit and Luigi, got a little Hershey Mobile, a bunch of little, these, people just keep giving these to me as gifts, these little Pac-Man things with the candies in them, I have like tons of them, but that's, some of them ended up in the cube. Uh, this was a weird little phone that somebody gave me. I thought it was cool. I just threw it up there. Felix the Cat, some little robots. Uh, all right, here's a fun one. So we got Sonic, uh, Knuckles, and Tails, and um, I left I left a very long Amazon review that Knuckles suffers from chronic back problems. He doesn't seem to stand up straight, and uh, even if I bend him back, he seems to be splitting in the rear there. So uh, uh, poor Knuckles. I can't catch a break. Uh, it's Super Mario on the little, uh, another one of those little candy tins that they sell, um, little robot toys here, Pac-Man, some weird stuff, some robots, some perler beads, um, and one of the main things I set up here when I first started tacking all this stuff up in my cube was, uh, to kind of line the walls with pinball flyers, so I've got, uh, all my favorite games from the 80s, Pinbot, High Speed, Bonsai Run, and most of these are signed by the designers or artists. This one's signed by Python. This one's signed by Steve Ritchie. We got Pat Lawler and Larry DeMar on the Bonsai Run. And shout out to Larry. I know he was a, a, a big fan of the Cube when I first posted pictures of this. He's, I think he sent me a PM saying how cool he thought it was. So, Larry, if you're watching, hello. Uh, Barry Osler on Cyclone. Again, Python on Comet. So I tried to get a bunch of signatures at the various pinball expos. So here's a cool piece. This is the Donkey Kong marquee that I had signed by all the uh, world record holders on Donkey Kong at the Kong Off. So we got Steve uh, Steve Wiebe and Billy Mitchell, Hank Chen. Those guys are on there. Uh, a couple more flyers. We've got Greg Ferez and Dennis Nordman on Dr. Dude, probably my favorite game that they did. Dennis, I know your Facebook friends. Uh, hello. 
uh, John Yossi on Funhouse, another great pinball artist. Um, so I think I skipped a few of the toys over here. We got Miss Pac-Man and Mario and uh, my favorite Simpsons character of all time, Hank Scorpio. Which if you're fans of that episode, you know exactly who he is. Uh, this was sort of the, the, the final piece up here was the Daytona USA twin racer marquee and uh, yes there is a light bulb inside you can plug it in and light it up so it looks pretty cool in the dark um that was like the the last straw i honestly really haven't other than the x68000 which i'll talk about in a second i really haven't added that much to it over the years it sort of got to a point where uh, i had everything in place um the daytona was the the big piece and a couple other toys up there a few star wars things i was a big star wars fan as a kid not as much anymore but to kind of celebrate that, I got the Millennium Falcon up there. A couple of those little pinball topper promo plastics up there. <clears throat> Over here we have the uh, the robot collection. I uh, just very naturally started accumulating all these tin robots from various toy stores for, you know, a dollar or two apiece. And the collection just sort of grew out of control. And there's Rob the Robot up there for you Nintendo NES fans. Uh, here's another piece of signed pinball goodness. We got the uh, Elvira poster with Dennis and Greg's signature on that. And uh, got the uh, video game controllers up there, various stuff hanging from the ceiling, so all sorts of nerdy goodness. And uh, really the last thing I added was if you're a... Uh, if you're a hardcore gamer of any type and you like your shoot 'em ups and uh, vintage 16-bit uh, video games, you might have heard of the X68000, which is a, a Japanese-only gaming PC. And uh, about a year ago, or maybe more than more like eight months ago, I bought bought one of these off of a guy uh, on the Clov forums, which is a big video game collecting forum, and. Um, this just spiraled out of control, and very shortly, I, I just accumulated all of the different pieces of hardware to put it together. But this is uh, this has become just an absolute prized possession of mine. This is the complete setup of the X68000. It's got a hard drive in it with every game on it. You know, there's tons of games to play, and uh, it's just been a real joy to collect this thing and put it together. And definitely a test of my patience to figure out everything to get it to work. And, uh, of course, uh, waiting and waiting and waiting to ship stuff from Japan, because you can't find parts for this in America. And if you can, you're, you're very lucky. So, um, cleared out a bunch of toys to make room for this, and this is where this has been sitting here for the last couple months. But, really, an absolute joy to own this computer. It's a, it's a, it's a real blast. Uh, wasn't cheap, but, uh, you know, over time, I was able to find all the pieces for it, so... Hopefully I'll get around to shooting some separate videos on this and how it works and playing some of the games, but I absolutely love this thing. And last but not least, the uh, the the thing that I actually use to do work, yes, I do work in this cube. I work as a graphic and web designer for Generations Beyond here, and uh, this is my 21-inch Wacom Cintiq tablet that I do all my work on, and um, if any graphic designers are watching out there they probably know exactly what this thing is and yes it's awesome i absolutely love this thing i mean it's it's i don't think i could possibly do my job without it and so it's it's a must have you might not need one this big they make different size units but i mean if you can get a hold of one of these things and you're in the design industry you absolutely got to get something like this or or at the very least a surface tablet or something to do your drawing and retouching on it's uh it's a great piece of hardware and i've had this thing for almost six years and it works just as good as the day i took it out of the box there have been no issues with this a couple of little software updates i needed to do but absolutely no issues with this thing i mean this thing is a workhorse built with quality i mean if you can get your hands on one of those absolutely do so i hope i didn't leave too much out there's you know a couple little toys here i could probably go into detail on uh but, uh, yeah, this is the cubicle. It's been like this way for almost five and a half years. So, you know, sadly, I, I do have to take it down since we're going to be getting some new furniture in here. But hopefully I'll be able to decorate the new desk in some cool way. And, uh, you know, that'll be sort of the successor to this cube. But it's been a blast to sit here and work in this amongst all this nonsense and the silly, nerdy toyness that I got going on here, if that's even a word. Um, but... Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff that you see here, feel free to shoot me a PM. I'd be happy to tell you more about it. Take care. Bye.